All right, students, today we're going to learn how to fill out a stock chart for our stock project. So after you figure out what uh, companies you want to invest in, you're going to have to fill out uh, several different stock charts for those companies, or at least one for each company itself. And I'm going to run through basically how you find the information on the stock chart uh, that you see in front of you. So number one says, uh, what are their products? Two is, where do they sell them? Is it state? national or international in 3s which which industry are they involved in to find this information you can go to Yahoo Finance which is right here um, and in the at the top of the page there there's a uh, lookup box for your company and all you need to do there is to put in the uh, stock symbol for your company and click on look up and it should bring up what you see here. I'm just going to use 3M, uh, Minnesota Company, and try to make it as simple as possible. Now to find the answer for those three questions, you just need to click on Profile, which is underneath the Company tab here on the left-hand side. If you're ever confused, I just suggest you go all the way over here to the left-hand side and look for what whatever information uh, is requested. If you click on Profile and scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see exactly what industry and sector they're uh, located in and the business summary will be able to answer those other two questions for you. So if you read through here you're going to find all the information that you need. So that should give you the answers for numbers 1, 2, and 3. Uh, numbers 4 and 5 are in red because really based on this information that you found in numbers 1 through 3 you are going to have to decide whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for the industry and you all also have to decide uh, what the growth potential is for the company or the products that they're selling. And remember now, this uh, stock project is only happening for the next three and a half months approximately, so when you write your answers for this, that should definitely be something that you keep in mind. Uh, and then the far right-hand side um, basically is going to be um, the column that allows you to explain why you would or would not want to uh, invest in this company for the next three months and that's extremely important to understand that's only three months uh, and really in essence this far uh, right hand column is going to end up becoming your stock paper which we'll be introducing later. As we move on here um, the next row asks you to find a number of stock indicators and so you have to look for things like PE ratio, the 52 week range and uh, the EPS and to find that information you're going to go back to Yahoo Finance your Yahoo Finance page that is and look up your company which you would put the stock symbol up here and press look up if you're already in their company like me I'm already in the profile for 3M I can just go back to the summary tab on the left hand side and when I click on that it's going to bring up all the information you need and you're going to find most of that if not all of that in here like right here's your PE ratio you have one year target estimates uh, what it closed at the previous day. You've got the 52 week range right here as well. Uh, the market that 3M is traded in is the New York Stock Exchange and you'll find that right up next to it, uh, next to the stock symbol right here you can see NYSE. Um, and uh, dividend and yield percentages are down here at the bottom. So the company pays out $2.54 dividend checks to its uh, shareholders and basically is giving back 2.1% of its profits through dividends to its shareholders. The company's 52 week range is listed here which means that it sold for as little as 86.74 in the last 12 months and as much as 122.27 in the last year. The next thing that the stock chart asks you to find are the highest and lowest values over the last 12 months and then what that would tell you about the stability of the stock. Uh, it also asks about volume which I'll cover as well. To find that information you can stay on Yahoo Finance and click on interactive chart over here on the left hand side. You should see where my cursor is right now and that'll pull up uh, a nice little interactive chart for your company. Um, the one other thing you'll have to do is click on the one year tab here at the bottom so that you can go back one year from now. Um, and then it asks you to find the highest and lowest value so you can basically run your cursor along this and find out exactly what the highest and lowest value was for that stock over the last year. You can see the ups and downs here as well. Uh, your answers will be very close to what your 52 week range is. 
just below the value chart is the volume chart and this basically is an indication of how many people are trading that particular stock on a given day and it asks you to find the highest value and it looks like there's a pretty high value right about here uh, back in late April uh, what volume tells you is that there is something going on with that particular company where a lot of people are either buying or selling that stock uh, so it can be a good thing or a bad thing and on in this particular day it looked like it took a bit of a hit so there are a number of things could be related to that it would be your job um, to find out and investigate what that was remember now since we are um, uh, investing for the next three and a half months uh, we want we want stocks that are fairly unstable that are moving a lot we don't want the big stable stocks because uh, we want to basically take a risk and hopefully make money as fast as possible so when you answer this question right here let's make sure that we're looking for stocks that are very um, unstable or at least that we know are going to be moving a lot in the next few months the next part of the um, stock chart asks us to go to stock consultant to find the bullish and bearish percentages uh, for the particular company so you just can follow the link there uh, I already have a tab open for it it'll look like this and again you do basically the same thing enter your uh, stock symbol in the box up here at the top and press consult and then you'll immediately get your uh, bullish and bearish percentage right up here at the top so you can use that information you can go back to your stock chart and you can fill in that right there uh, one side note sometimes the information won't be available either on Yahoo or MSN or on stock consultant if you run into that problem you can always put NA for not available the next part of the stock chart asks us to click on the analyst rating and give it these suggestions from um, brokers about whether or not we should buy or sell that particular stock you can find the analyst rating in Yahoo Finance but it's also just as easy to find it probably easier to find it through MSN's money tab um, so I'm gonna pull that up real quick uh, if you go to MSN money you're gonna have basically the same thing that you would have in uh, Yahoo and at the top you're gonna put your stock symbol in uh, the box and press get quote and here we are so the uh, stock chart if you go back and take a look at it ask us to click on analyst rating so we'll go back here we'll look on the left hand side again and look for all the analyst ratings here on the left hand side and we'll find it just right down here so we can click on it and we'll find our information we need um, basically you want to look at the current suggestions um, and right now this six here under the current uh, basically is telling us that six brokers are saying that this particular stock is a strong buy right now uh, one person, one broker saying it's a moderate buy, five are saying that we just hold it, meaning if you have it, don't worry about it. If you don't have it, don't jump in right now. And one broker is saying that it's a strong sell. So going back to your stock chart, you take those two recommendations. Uh, in our case, we'll take a quick peek again. The top recommendation is strong buy, that's six. And the next recommendation is hold at five and so you just put that right there strong buy six hold five next we're looking for uh, the earnings estimate for the stock and so we are to to label the quarter ending and growth percentage for that particular stock and you can use MSN and I know Yahoo has the same tab as well but we'll use MSN it's a little bit more user friendly so I'm gonna go over here to uh, 3M's um, company here for on MSN and on the left hand side you're going to find that earnings tab again uh, when you click on the earnings tab make sure that you're using the next quarter ending because we want to be able to find out what's happening in the next few months with that particular company and the average estimate here is a dollar sixty meaning that uh, it's expected to increase a dollar sixty over that quarter now again that's just estimates it doesn't mean that that's automatically going to happen all this information is basically an estimate so there are some major things that can happen in the market or with the company that could cause it to grow either faster or slower than what's predicted so along with the average estimate you will also find the growth rate down here and the growth rate is expected to grow 13.62 percent for the next quarter lastly we have the financial highlights which will also be found through MSN uh, and we're looking for the sales growth and the income growth uh, here 
So go back to MSN, the left hand side you've got financial highlights listed right over here. And right away towards the top you're going to have your sales and your income. So it's sales, uh, we're at 30.27 uh, billion and its income was at 4.48 billion after all of its costs. Uh, so uh, you can find your information right here. I do want to cover a couple other things as well. Um, once you've found the information here in the middle column for your companies, which by the way you're going to have to have six total stock charts um, filled out for six separate companies. I think the most important part of this stock chart is going to be the far right hand side, how all the information you found through MSN and Stock Consultant and Yahoo is going to affect whether or not you invest in this particular company. Remember, you're going to invest in three companies over the next three to four months, uh, and you need to choose which three are going to be the most profitable. And that's basically all going to be up to you. And we're going to talk about this in class too, where uh, it's not just the numbers that dictate how well a, a stock is going to do over the next few months. So basically, this far right hand side is extremely important. You should be filling it out along the way. Given the information from the middle column, how will that affect your choice in the near future? So don't just you know leave it up to the numbers but think about economically what's happening politically how different policies can have an impact on the stock value of your company and and so on and so forth um, so do a lot of research into your companies uh, don't just rely on the numbers uh, think for yourself a little bit and um, Try to actually go to their company websites and see what they're what they're doing. Uh, use some outside resources on information that's out there, and see if you can't uh, find the next best thing for the next three months. So, if you have any further questions, uh, you make sure you can a uh, ask Mr. Miller, myself, or Miss Nelson. Uh, we can try to help you out along the way. But hopefully, this is a useful guide to get you started.